Weber State will tip off at 7 tonight with Southern Utah in Ogden. Before the game, the Wildcats hosting a memorial for former coach Ronnie Beglin, who passed away two and a half weeks ago at the age of 81. Rod Zundel is in Ogden with those who knew Coach A very well. Well, Jeremiah, Coach A. Baglin coached Weber State from 1991 to 1999, and during that time he became the third winningest coach in Weber State history, and that's why we are here honoring the coach with his family and friends, former players, former coaches. They've all gathered here to honor uh, one of their great friends and, and uh, patriarchs of the family, uh, Ron A. Baglin, the Weber State uh, head basketball coach. And we have his kids here, and they're going to talk about their dad, and we know about the coach. But, uh, Chris, talk about Ronnie Baglin, the dad. Well, he was uh, two different people, really. He was intense on the basketball floor, but he was just a great dad. I mean, as good as he was as a coach, he was a great father. And that meant everything to us. Kent, what does it mean to you know, see all these people uh, that respected your dad? Oh, pretty amazing, actually. Uh, you know, you're not sure anybody liked him because he was always, well, maybe overcoaching him a little bit or yelling at him a little bit, but he always uh, always loved everybody and uh, was always intense and wanted to excel in everything, but he, he loved to help uh, other people excel. Yeah. And, Kirk, we saw him on the sidelines, storming the sidelines sometimes, but it always eased the tension with a little dry joke, and he was very good at that, wasn't he? Oh, yeah, you should have heard him on the golf course, too. But of course, we can't tell some of those jokes, yeah. Rod. But, uh, you know, he, he, he loved golf. He loved basketball. But uh, he just loved his friends and family and, and uh, just, a, just a great guy. Now, I see Raisinets and Diet Coke over on the memorabilia table with all of his awards. What's that all about? Well, those are his favorite treats, you know, and he watched a lot of basketball tapes yeah. and video or, you know, videos and game tapes. And that's what he'd snack on. Mm -hmm. Well, all these people here have had a lot of great laughs with your dad. Um, I did one of the first newspaper interviews uh, articles on him when I was here at Weber State on the signpost and also did uh, the last television interview with him in 2013 uh, when they were celebrating 50 years of Weber State basketball. And we also had uh, Dick Mata and Phil Johnson, two former co uh, Weber State coaches there. I asked him about what was his biggest moment. Of course, it was the 1999 upset in the NCAA tournament over North Carolina. Well, uh, I uh, I had some good players to start with, <laughs> and uh, the thing I the thing that I recognize is they were big and slow, and very good, but I didn't think they could guard us. So uh, we ran a play we called it Orange Crunch. It was for Harold. Mm -hmm. Everybody get out of the way. Harold and throw, <laughs> yeah. throw the ball to Harold, and he had a great game. And then the other guys chipped in towards the end of the game, and, and it worked out pretty good. All right, that was Coach A. Beglin uh, from 2013. And here is the only daughter of the group of boys, golfers and basketball players, Sarah, from Coach A. Beglin. Just talk about your dad being the only girl uh, amongst all these guys. Yeah, I was lucky. Uh, could never do anything wrong. I could do anything. Really? Very, yeah. You were the, yeah. She was the spoiled one? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. No, great, great dad. We'll miss him a lot. Yeah. And Phil Johnson, former. Uh, Weber State coach and jazz assistant, of course, you know uh, Coach Abeglin as a basketball coach, but as a friend as well. For many years. Uh, I was telling his family, I came really close to hiring him as my assistant when I first got the job here. He was at Morgan High School and uh, interviewed him, and I, of course I knew him well. He'd been to all, a lot of our practices, and he, uh, he was a basketball he had basketballs jumping out of his head, and when they weren't, golf balls were. So, <laughs> so I mean, it was, uh, yeah. he was really a great person yeah. and a very loyal person, uh, a very good friend. You would have to put him in the upper tier of the coaches in the history of state of Utah, don't you? Oh, I don't think there's any question. I mean, you, you're talking about if you take the, the body of, of work that he did, Morgan High School, Snow College, Weber State, I mean, there aren't yeah. many guys that have uh, accomplished what he accomplished. And a testament to a man's uh, integrity both on and off the court right here, all of his buddies that's right. that's and his right. former players and coaches yes, coming to right. honor him. And this is a nice affair. This is nice to have this here. He had yeah. the funeral, and yeah. it's nice to have people come and pay tribute to him. But we're honoring a guy who always made us smile and laugh. All right, thank you. All right, there's Phil Johnson. All right, so that'll do it here. Jeremiah, back to you.